What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for April 7th, 2020. We have a bunch of events shoved together this week guys, and potentially, hopefully, it sounds like the Celestial Island update is still on pace for next week, so hopefully we'll see more news about that in the week to come. Hopefully, hopefully we get a little teaser maybe tomorrow. I was hoping, hoping we were going to see a little bit about it today, but we'll have to wait probably until Thursday to hear more. So let's jump into the events we have going on this week. We first have the Imps Adventure with this really interesting Monopoly style board where you, you go around it multiple times. So you throw the dice and the imp will move according to your roll. So the imps will... The imps will collect stars during the adventure and give materials, items, and wooden hammers. So, it sounds like based on the number of times of you go around, I think a maximum of four, you can get, as you see here, dust, spirit, promotion stones. Um, it does sound like you can actually get artifacts as well. So, we'll have to see if it's random artifact shards or if we get, you know, maybe potentially pay to win artifacts. Don't know just yet, but it looks pretty cool. Um, so the way you get dice for this event is by completing the shelter event, which we'll go over later, daily login rewards, purchasable with gems, and event packs. So uh, we'll have to see how free to play it is, or if it's heavily, heavily influenced by the uh, the value packs and the event packs. So we'll have to see there. Hopefully it's not too bad. I'm really interested to see what these four little huts are for. They all look a little bit different. A couple of them have dice on top. Maybe it's like bonus spins. I don't know. Plus, there's two little mushroom huts there, too, with stars. Really interested to see how this event actually works out. Next up, of course, is the Easter Egg Ball. So, you have three different hammers to smash each of the relative eggs, the ones that correspond with each egg. Um, and you'll get some awesome rewards. So uh, you smash them a certain amount of times, break them open. So I think last year was like you hit it 10 times and it breaks open and you get the reward. Plus you get little, I think if I remember correctly, you get little rewards for every hammer hit as well. Just little resources or something. So uh, sounds like one of them will be tied to just an event currency, I think. Um... Probably the second one is like a premium event currency, like something you only get in the value packs and event packs. That's just my guess. And the last one sounds like it's for gems, but of course, take this all with a, with a grain of salt because we're not 100% sure. We also have the spring outing, so we don't have too much information on this, but it sounds like it'll work very, very similar to the Heroic Miracle. So, you get specific heroes to join the Easter Carnival and resurrect three heroes. So, they spoiled it. Two are going to be warriors and one is a ranger. I believe one of them is sleepless and one of them is carry. So, the carry copy is really important. We don't know who the other warrior is, though be really cool for someone like Terra. Put the two newest light and dark heroes out there. That would be really, really fun to see. But yeah, it works like the Heroic Miracle. So it sounds like you're going to have to just uh, summon a certain number of five-star heroes. That's why on Saturday we got that little bit of spoiler saying it might have something to do with fusing five-star heroes. So if you can save up some shards in the next week, definitely do that. We have the shelter mission, so we have six heroes here. We have Omivore, Faithblade, Sigmund, Kamath, Scary, and Heartwatcher. So, overall, the light and dark, Faithblade and Omivore, just skip them. They're not worth 2,000 gems and two five-star light and dark, so don't even consider those. But grabbing Sigmund, that's really good for everybody. Heartwatcher, really good for everybody. Kamath, you know, I'll pick it up on the Petrify Mean Team. We need the gear anyway, so we're definitely grabbing it for the gear. And then there's also that scary copy. You know we're going to grab it just to have extra copies on the scary count. Because you never know. You never know what's coming. Maybe some PvE content is coming somewhere down the line. We can only hope. 
And then we also have the blacksmith event. So, um, yeah, need the armor? Go ahead and grab it. Costs a lot of gold, a lot of gems. But if you need it, definitely go ahead and grab that up right away. And sadly, guys, we don't really have any information on the upcoming Celestial Island update. The only thing we saw was, I believe it was Sunday, they posted this picture right here. Uh, just talking about, it's coming soon. Uh, during the voyage, you may meet the other adventurers and discover new things. So, really, really can't wait to see what's in store for Celestial Island. I'm really, really hoping there is some PvE content tied to it. And, uh, yeah, I just really hope so. Honestly, not sure if this, uh, if this island, uh, sorry, what was it called? The, the Demon's Adventure, I don't know if that's tied to the Celestial Island update or the event in general. We'll have to see because as far as Easter goes, we have the Easter egg event, the spring outing, um, shelters put on this week as well. Honestly, if, if we have something with the Demon's Adventure, or the Imp's Adventure, sorry, and the Spring Outing together. That could make for a very interesting week if this is uh, if this is something here to stay. I'm really hoping the Imp's Adventure is not just a one-off. I hope it's actually in the rotation just to give us more eventful uh, weeks that we are a little more interactive. But again, it really depends on how free-to-play or pay-to-win this event ends up being. I do need to take a second and say thank you very much to our new scary members from the past week, Jordan and Betrayed. Thank you so much for the support, guys. We just keep growing and growing and growing, and it's, uh, it's nice to see the members chat fill up even more and more. In case you guys did not notice, we did hit 8 thousand subscribers oh my god guys thank you so much you have no idea what it means to me uh we gave away the scary account so if you didn't see the video go check out sunday's video uh we we gave it away and and if you're the winner make sure you claim it hopefully we can do a lot more giveaways coming up guys so the plan is the plan is in case you are not familiar with our live streams or anything like that we usually stream every tuesday and Saturday so definitely hang around check out the reminders on YouTube here make sure you hit that subscribe button so you see those reminders but um what we're gonna do is uh, a lot of people have been asking for it I think we're finally finally gonna do the face reveal when we hit 9,000 subscribers so that's the long-term goal right now but you know just so we give back to this awesome community this awesome idle heroes community we're building here uh, every 100 subscribers, we are going to do a $10 giveaway. Uh, so in the past, what we've done is either given away Android and iOS gift cards. But of course, in case, in case you're not in an area that can redeem those, uh, I also offer, I'll jump on your account, make a $10 purchase for you through my Google Play account so that you don't have to worry about buying it, you don't have to worry about currencies, you don't have to worry about if you can use the gift cards in your country, just get with me. But what we're gonna do is in this video right here, just leave a comment, any comment. We're not gonna be too picky in this one, we're not doing a keyword. I just want to say thank you, and honestly guys, we're about 40 subscribers away from the first giveaway, so definitely, definitely make sure you leave a comment here, make sure you're subscribed, and just keep watching the channel, guys. You know, I always say I appreciate everybody who donates, who becomes members, but let's be honest, guys, I really love every one of you guys that come here every week, at least watch one or two videos, hit that like button, leave those comments, interact with us on Discord and everything like that. So hopefully we can continue to grow. Eventually, if we get to 10,000 subscribers, we might be able to even do some merchandise on YouTube, which would be really cool, but ah, one step at a time, right guys? So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Hopefully we get a lot more information about the Celestial Island update coming up this week. Hopefully we don't have to wait till Thursday, but I feel like we're probably going to have to wait till Thursday to see what the uh, the special event packs are and see and judge this event a little better to see if it's, if it's pay to win, a nice little free to play event, or a nice mixture. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you Thursday. That's for sure. We have a stream tonight, Tuesday night. So definitely stop by if you have some time. 
and I'll see you guys in the next one.